Basketball on 2K Sports. We're glad you could join us on this exciting Friday night matchup. Moments away, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the New York Knicks. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. Greg, we know it's still early in this season, but how significant is it for a team to have a hot start to the season or a cold start to the season? You know, I, I think it can give some indication of... overall strength but Kevin so much can happen in the course of the season don't go judging these teams just yet now here's Iverson to the paint and stolen by Thomas here's Houston Iverson covering and the vast award passes it to McDice six to shoot over Van Horn. McDice can't hit. Now here's McKee. He's covered by McDice. And McKee kicks to Iverson. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Baiting defenders in the fouls. AI so good at drawing fouls and getting to the strike. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he didn't do him any favors in their last game. His performance at the line was porous. Well, it was a narrow loss, and you think about the misses he had from the line, that could have been a different story had he made them. Take a break. And guys, Take the numbers break. don't lie. Two I mean, shot. he was such a reliable presence at the free throw line all throughout last season. He's off on the first. Well, I love the heart Iverson plays with. Really special how he competes and never gives in. He's nicknamed the answer because he takes pride in proving doubters wrong. And he sinks the second. We're about one minute into the first. Here's Freewell. They grab their own miss. Yeah, his strength and, and really that nose for the ball makes McDice a huge contributor on the offensive glass. He cleans up a lot of his teammates' mistakes. And Philadelphia has possession following the score by New York. Snow, the pass to Van Horn. Pass to Snow. Down to five on the shot clock. Over Ward. No, can't hit. Knicks have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Or the pass to Spreewell. That three off the mark. Here's Philadelphia. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And really the story of the game. And, you know, that's a big part of how they attack and win. Getting it going from the three-point line, but... At the end of the day, it didn't happen. Now here's Iverson. This game in the scoring display for him. He's just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. Here's Moore. He's covered by Snow. Has 
to Houston. And the layup's good off the glass. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And a great job to get that angle on a tremendous drive. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Here's Iverson. The Knicks making the shot. Takes it inside. And the speed of Iverson is so difficult to keep up with. When he's driving, you're sometimes forced to foul. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. Misses, so he splits the free throws. You can tell that miss at the line might stick with him for a while. Always hurts to miss a chance to take the lead. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. And that is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Over to the wing. Here's Houston, and the shot is long. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. Van Horn, the pass to Snow. Over Thomas. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Knicks have gone two or six from the field. Houston, the pass to Ward. Dice a screen. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And you know, even though they didn't come up with the steal, that's still a nice defensive play. Here's Ward. Shot clock at three. Rebound by the 76ers. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Iverson outside. And there's the pass to Coleman. Over Houston. And no good. Trying to use the glass. Clearly the defense could have been better there, guys. But he also needs to convert that. Here's Warren. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Sprewell. No good from outside. The 76ers are gone. Just 104 to get this game started. Here's Snow. Iverson outside. Let's it go from deep. Another miss by Philadelphia. New York's gone. 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Warren. Guarded by McKee. Spreewell, the pass to McDyess. And trying for the go-ahead basket, it doesn't go in. McDyess has gone one of three shooting so far. Here's Van Horn. It's hauled in by Thomas. Thomas got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Or the pass to Houston. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Here's Iverson. They now take the lead. Iverson's got six points. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. 
Yeah, and the lead has changed hands, and it just hasn't stayed in those hands very long when it's changed. Back and forth we go. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. to Ward. Pass to Sprewell. Pass to Houston. They could use a bucket. Sinks the triple. Houston's got five nuts. And we see Houston take a healthy amount of threes for a reason. This guy very accurate from beyond. Here's Snow. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Three-pointer. Houston pulls it in. The Knicks with the lead. The pass to Sprewell. Passes it to Thomas. Over Iverson. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Pass to Van Horn. Over McDice. Van Horn, no good. New York leading by three. Houston, the pass to Ward. Here's Springwell. Pass to Houston. There's the three. And the Knicks hit again. And this is where Houston is at his best. So good at just catching and shooting. And the 76ers decide to take their first time out here.
substitution on the court. The 76ers trail by six. And here is Iverson. Six points for him. They need this. Here's the drive. Looking at the Knicks, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Pistons in Detroit. The shot by Isley, no good. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Williams with the ball. Now Thomas defending. And here's Iverson outside. Throws it from outside. Iverson's got his third basket of the night right there. His passion for the game infectious. What a joy to watch when he steps between the lines. To the wing right side. Here's Isley. Down low. Here's Thomas. McCulloch with the block. And he's able to get it back. And so it's Williams who brings it up for Philadelphia. It's a three-point game. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Here's Malin. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. Philadelphia has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. The pass to Buckner. Back to Iverson. Shot clock at six. An easy two points on the way. Now just a one-point Knicks lead. One of the better scorers on the floor. Tough to defend him well without some contact. And AI fights through it this time. Here's Isley. No points in the game yet for him. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. The Knicks shooting their first shots of the night from the charity strike. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. And the first one drops. So he makes both from the line. Well, he's come through for them at the line today, and you love having a big fella who's so capable on his free throw. Bryant with a screen on Anderson. Here's Buckner. Pass to Iverson. The 76ers need to get off a shot, and they pick up two. He just sees everything on the floor. Nice vision from Iverson to find the open man. Here's Isley. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Malon in the post. He's started by Williams. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And he shot foul shots at about a 75% clip a season ago. And that one is off. One is no good and that's a rare missed opportunity from him he, he'd been good as gold up until that point Bryant looking over the floor 
Here's Buckner. He's covered by Anderson. Hit the pass to Iverson. This one for three. The Knicks pull it in. 144 left to play in the first. Here's Nalen, and he takes the fantastic lead pass up strong for the slam. That's serving it up on the platter there. What a nice pass. A high percentage look was the result. On the wing, Iverson. Tries it from 19. Again, Philadelphia. You know, I mean, heck, Iverson just out there doing what he does best. Scoring the rock. And the defense hasn't had much of an answer. Pun intended. Here's Isley. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Nalen. They get it again. Thomas. And then Thomas with the jam. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the duck if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Now, here's Brian. Here's Iverson. Another miss by Iverson. The Knicks leading by three. Anderson outside from the arc. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Forty-one seconds left here in the first quarter. Now here's Iverson. He's got thirteen. Teardrop shot. Unable to get that one. And New York the other way now. Here's Weatherspoon. There's 14 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Five on the clock. Here's Malin. Beats the shot clock but can't get it to fall. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Knicks lead by three, and we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. And close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And when you consider how the Knicks are doing, guys, what are your thoughts? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. And with the Hornets moving from Charlotte to New Orleans, the first time we've had a team in the Big Easy since 1979. Yeah, that was when the Jazz moved to Utah. I, I know this. I'm going to enjoy our trips to New Orleans. The food there, off the charts. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Here's Snow. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. To the right side. The Knicks making a switch here. Ward's checked in. Substitution for the Knicks. Pass to Buckner. There's the screen. Lock at six. Here's McKee. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Hey, they, they had their opportunities, but let's face it, they choked from the line. Hard to win that way on the road. Hey, knocking down free throws in a hostile environment is really about the battle of the mind. Philadelphia with the ball, following the score by New York. To the left wing. Here's Snow. Out to the right wing. Pass to McKee. Over Springwell. McKee, no luck. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. Rather swing the pass to McDice, and it's good for two. Tell you what, McDice is twisted up like cable wire. That guy's got some kind of body, and he uses it well to get through that defense. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Oh, 
That's good for McDice. And night in and night out, you know, McDice provides a bunch of energy. He's an athletic big guy who does a little bit of everything for you. Those guys are hard to find, but always valuable. Here's Snow. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. McKee, and it's blocked. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Sprewell. And Van Horn pulls it down. The 76ers trail by 10. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. They set the pick. Here's Snow. Here's the pass to McKee to stop the run. Nailed from three-point land. McKee's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Knocks it loose. And now Philadelphia on the break. A pull-up. Van Horn, no good. The Knicks leading by seven. Passes it to Ward. We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Sprewell, guarded by McKee. Nick Dykes, and the call on the shot sends him to the line. <laughs> Played by McDice, taking his motion directly into the defender to get the foul. The next have shot three of five at the foul line. That free throw missing. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that. Absolutely. Way. And the second free throw, good. The 76ers trail by eight. Here's Buckner. The teardrop falls in. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Here's Moore. He's covered by Snow. Pass to Houston. Fires from deep. Kept alive by New York. And that one's good. Weather smooth. How about the purpose with which he's crashing the backboards right now? Some hard-earned second-chance points. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. From past the arc, it's rebounded by New York. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falls. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. The 76ers trail by eight. Here's Buckner. Right wing. Here's Snow. Here's Coleman. And he stays with it. A rebound by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. It's his first trip to the line. Made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. 
and he makes the first. There's talk of a new dynasty rising in the East, and a lot of people think, Greg, the Nets could be a championship team. I mean, New Jersey's a talented squad with a young core, and they had a great run in the playoffs last year, but that kind of experience is priceless. So after making the first, he goes one for two. The 76ers trail by nine. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Pass to Coleman. It's rebounded by New York. Weatherspoon's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Now the pass to Houston. New York moving it around. Just five to shoot. Hits it from three-point range. Sprewell's got five now. And how about Sprewell? They're dropping one from deep. Really like how he's starting to get a feel for that three-point. Here's Buckner over to the left wing. Put on that shot. With that, the Nick lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Snow. His mid-range shot is very solid. I mean, for some reason, the defense let him have it. Here's Sprewell. And again, New York with the triple. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Passes to Van Horn. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Knicks. You know, right from the start, it seemed they got hot from three-point range, pulling apart the defense and racking up the points, too. And also, how about the way they decimated the opposition on the offensive glass, getting an impressive number of second-chance points? And he knocks down the first one. College jumped in for Philadelphia. So he gets them both. The Knicks leading by 11. Here's Ward. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against the Pistons in Detroit. Sprewell. And misses it off the right side of the rim. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Here's Buckner. Out to the right wing. Stolen by McDice. Here's Sprewell. Hey, yo, right here. Ward, the pass to Sprewell. Over Snow. No good off the back of the rim. The 76ers trail by 11. Here's McKee. The rebound by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Here's Ward, guarded by McKee. Here's Houston. That shot misses. And Philadelphia the other way now. McKee, the pass to Snow. Out left of the wing, 18 feet out. The Knicks pull it in. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Ward, the pass to Sprewell. Here's Weatherspoon, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. New York calls timeout.
And the first one at the line is good. He hits both from the strike. The 76ers trail by 13. Here's Snow. He kicks it to Iverson. That's a six field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. And, you know, for being a smaller guard, Iverson is a master at finishing inside. Just remarkable. Here's Isley. Now Naylon. It's stolen by Bryant. Williams with the ball. Now Thomas defending. Gets it down to single digits. Williams has got his first points of the night. And that's how they're going to trim this lead. Play tough, be force some turnovers, and then push it in transition. Pass to Anderson. To the middle. Here's Thomas. Pass to Isley. Five to shoot. Fires the three. Malon's shot is off. The 76ers trail by nine. Here's Williams, and again, it's Philadelphia. Yeah, and Snow, terrific job there. Just kind of setting the pace. Exceptional at breaking down the defense with his passing. Here's Isley. Kicks it to Anderson. Driving inside. It's good. And the Knicks lead by nine. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Outside Bryant on the wing, Iverson. And the dunk by Iverson. You know, I think the undervalued part of AI's game is his athleticism. I know he's not that big, but he's an amazing athlete. This guy was an all-state football player in high school, and he plays with some of that football mentality, too. Here's Anderson, 76ers getting the bucket. Here's Thomas, a good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Thomas got six. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Bryant passes to Iverson. Lays it up off the glass. Iverson's got 19 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Here's Weatherspoon. He has five. Inside and stolen by McCulloch. Outside Williams. The pass to Snow. Bryant dishes to Iverson. Back to Bryant. That's the three fly. The rebound by Weatherspoon. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. To the inside. Here's Thomas. Head shot off. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Here's Snow. Iverson outside. It's up a three. A rebound by Weatherspoon. Weatherspoon's... Here's Isley. The feed to Thomas. Malon passes to Thomas. A three-pointer is right on target. Thomas got five points in the quarter. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Here's Iverson. That one a little long. The Knicks leading by 10. Nailing with it. From deep three points. 
three-point range. And so it's the New York Knicks going into the break with a 10-point lead. And they've done a phenomenal job down low. So many of their points coming right at the rim. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. What a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. The Knicks leading by 10. Here's Ward. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Looking to get it going. And it's pretty well missing. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity for mid-range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. Iverson outside. Passes it to Van Horn. The Knicks pull it in. Thomas got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. Here's Moore. He's covered by Snow to the right side. Here's Houston. Releases from the wing and drills it. Houston's got the first points of the second half up on the board for the Knicks. The 76ers trail by 12. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Here's Iverson. The Knicks pull it in. Celtics will be coming into town for the next game. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Nick Dice passes to Sprewell. Right wing takes a three. Houston can't get it to go. Philadelphia shooting about 35% from the four. Not much falling for them. And we're just about a minute and a half into the third quarter of basketball. It'll go, and the New York Blue is cut to just nine points on the basket from Iverson. And Iverson can knock down the triple from time to time. I like seeing that part of his game expand. Out to the right wing. And here's McDice. Six points for him. Thomas's shot is off. To the paint, here's Iverson. Props in the layup for two. And that's now 24 points for Iverson. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Sprewell. Eight points for him. Houston shots good. Much respect for the jumper of Houston. He knows exactly when to let it fly. The 76ers trail by 10. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Here's Iverson. That's tipped. Here's Moore. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Over to the wing. Here's Houston. Iverson covering. McDice a screen. Ward misses. 76ers have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Here's Snow. Down low, here's Coleman. And the jumper from down low is good. Coleman's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the 76ers. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Houston. The lead pass with foot in just the right spot. Houston's got 15 points. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct. Just fanning the flames. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming. Attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. And the 76ers call time here.
And the 76ers making a change here. Buckers checked in. From the wing. The Knicks leading by 10. Pass to Ward. Pass to Houston. Just fine on the clock. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. They're taking it right into the teeth of the defense and, and it's a defense that's starting to look frustrated well they should be i mean it has not been a good performance for them at that end of the Find floor the one shot and here are the 76ers now trailing by 13 and the pass to Van Horn. Here's Iverson. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And it's now 26 points for Iverson. But in the mid-range, Iverson can be so dangerous. He is just so skilled at making those shots. And it's three well missing. 76ers have gone an even 50% for the floor here in the third quarter. Four of eight. Here's Buckner. Back to Iverson. To the middle. Here's Coleman. Good. And it's Iverson. He picks up the assist. Coleman's got his second basket of the game. Coleman's comfort level inside clearly on display, which is why his guys have confidence in him down there. This is it to Sprewell. Shoots over McKee. Sprewell. That's good. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now here's Iverson. 26 points for him. From 20 feet out, again, Philadelphia. An extremely efficient and productive game for him. But again, he's not going to be able to do it all by himself. Here's Moore. Iverson covering. Here's Houston. And the Knicks good for two. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. Yeah, and you know, that is some shaky and shoddy defensive work. they got to tighten it up. Here's Buckner. Iverson right side. 20 feet out. Here's Coleman. Second shot opportunity. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's on Kurt Thomas. Coleman showing real intensity inside. Getting right in the defense's face to draw the foul. The 76ers shooting their 7th and 8th free throw attempts for the game right here. Taking two shots. first one falls or well, unique is what Coleman is Derek Coleman a big man who can really shoot it can play inside he is a real matchup problem for the defense McCulloch's checked in for Philadelphia Williams comes in for McKee and he can't hit the second Williams can't hit the Knicks leading by 10 Here's Isley. And he gets it to go. Now 
here's Iverson. 28 points for him. Pass to Coleman. Williams with the ball. New York foul. Howard Tyson. First personal foul. Second team. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for New York. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game, no doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. First one falls for him. Ryan needs check in for the 76ers. Snow comes in for Williams. And New York with a change here, too. Weatherspoon's checked in. And both free throws good for Iverson. Here's Isley. Pass to Sprewell. Over Buckner. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Sprewell superb on the offensive end of the floor. Good at spotting up and creating for himself. Outside Bryant on the wing Iverson. From deep, hands it from downtown. Iverson's got 14 points now in the second half. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. Anderson right side. Over Iverson. Anderson's shot is off. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. Strong move to the chin. Trying to get his guys going. Hard not to get motivated, GA, right when your teammate makes that kind of play. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. New York calls timeout. And the 76ers making a change here. before the shot clock expires. Sprewell's got 14 points for the game. I'm glad we got a chance to check out that fantastic drive one more time. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. 
Pass to Van Horn. Allen Iverson on the way. Finding the lane. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And then cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. That might indeed ignite a spark in this team. The tray. And it's three well missing. The 76ers trail by seven. Nifty move. And the dunk by Iverson. Boy, Iverson so stubborn and competitive offensively, forcing that shot through, even while taking the foul. The 76ers have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. New York leading by four. Here's Isley. Now Nayla. Pass to Spring. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the pick. Off target on the outside leaner. And, and whether he's a great off-balance shooter or not, the, the lean is probably not the best option on that shot. Iverson outside. Pass to Buckner. Here's Snow. He's guarded by Naylor. The pass to Buckner. The 19-foot shot. McCulloch no good. New York's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Isley. He's covered by Snow. Anderson against Iverson. Haywatt passes to Spring. From T. Rebound by McCulloch. McCulloch's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Inside, here's Van Horn. Goes to the reverse layup and puts it in. Van Horn's got four points this quarter. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Passes to Spring. And again, it's the Knicks missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. For the tie. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Personal For Philadelphia, they have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. First free throw is good. McKee's checked in for Button. So he picks up just one from the line that time. The Knicks with the lead. Pass to Isley. 102 left to play in the third. Here's Springwell. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, you, you can't doubt that Springwell has the talent. When focused, he's an incredibly efficient scorer as well. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And the first one at the line is good. Antonio McDice is checked in for New York. Oh. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And here are the 76ers now. It's a three-point game. Here's Iverson. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Yeah, the defender all over. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. This will make five trips now to the free throw line for him tonight. And the first one drops. No good on the second free throw. New York's got one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Here's Isley, and it's good, two points. Isley's got four points in the quarter. Oh, man, carving this defense to pieces with the drive. Well done. We've got 28 seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Snow. Six on the shot clock. He dishes it to McCullough. Another shot. He takes it up and lays it in. McCullough's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, coaches can't be there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the class. Nick Dykes. Yes, that goes in. And the Knicks lead by four. Nothing new for McDice. Exceptional at keeping his eye on the wing. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Knicks. They lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And for the 76ers, they're shooting at 44%. Pretty reasonable. On the wing, Iverson. Over Isley. And he overshot that one, missing. And so Thomas will bring it up for the Knicks. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Here's Isley. Iverson covering. Isley the pass to Houston. Oh, good with the triple. The 76ers trail by four. And there's the pass to Snow. Back to Iverson. Oaks one up. It's rebounded by New York. Thomas got 13 rebounds in the game. Seeding. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. Here's Isley. Iverson covering. Here's Houston. Iverson grabs the board. And so here is Philadelphia. Here in the fourth quarter, the defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Yes, sir. Bowman knows a thing or two or three about flushing it home. And so it's New York with it. 76ers getting the bucket. Here's Ward. Passes it to Houston. Wide open look. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Iverson's got six rebounds here tonight. High, arcing shot. And it's good on the way up. Iverson's got 41. An outstanding elite score, especially given his size. And right there, Iverson using that soft touch on the floater. Here's Isley. Three-pointer. And Van Horn pulls it down. Van Horn's got six rebounds in the game. 
Philadelphia moving the ball around. Iverson left side. Here's Coleman. And it's off the back rim. No good. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Ward. Here's Houston. Thomas a screen from downtown. You can't get that one to fall. Now the 76 was taken the other way. Pass to Snow. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Here's Iverson. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. Clinics have gone a dismal 0 for 5 to get the fourth quarter underway. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Now the pass to Houston. Not loose. Gets stolen by McKee. Iverson right side. And Iverson throws it down. That's a stomach punch, guys. Mm, Turn it over and give him a free run mm. to the bucket. Oh, you're so right. No question who has the momentum now. You know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. The latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to listen in on the New York head coach talking to his team. He told his guys, tempo, more tempo. We've got to be quicker into transition. Push the ball. Let's get some opportunities before their defense can set up. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Here's Isley. Iverson cover it. Here's Isley. Thomas is screen on Iverson. Drives to the hoop. The offensive rebound. 76ers have gone 3 of 7 from the 4 in the 4th. That's a 42% mark in the court. Here's Snow. It's rebounded by New York. Here's Ward. to the paint to stop the drought. Here's Thomas, and right on through for another basket. He's got five made on five of nine shooting. Yeah, nothing too fancy. Just getting the job done when they need to make every possession count. Here's Snow. Pass to McKee. Here's Van Horn. He's covered by McDice. Van Horn, no good. New York's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Isley. 
This is it to Houston. Just five to shoot to take the lead. Rebound by the 76ers. Van Horn's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Snow, the pass to Van Horn. And they double up Iverson. Here's Snow. Pass to Coleman. Over Thomas. It's hauled in by Thomas. Thomas got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Here's Isley. Pass to McDice. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Here's Houston. A miss that time. Would have put him up. The 76ers shooting for the game at 42%. To the inside. Snow. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. Here's Ward. The pass to McDice. And he makes good on the way. And the Knicks lead by two. And using the skill to make up for the size, McDice getting it done. And Philadelphia calls time here. The Knicks making a switch here. Seventy Sixers trailing. Passes it to Van Horn. Here's Iverson. Iverson throws it down. Oh, he got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. And I like it. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a sure-handed lay in there, but for me, I don't mind a little extra. Here's more. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Coleman's got rebound number eight now on the night. Puts it up from 12. Van Horn, no good. New York's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Here's Ward. Pass to Houston. Here's Ward. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. Shooting two. First one falls for him. McCulloch's check in for Philadelphia. Oh, 
both good from the line that time. Here's Snow. Pass to Iverson. Unloads from 13. Green for two points. Iverson's got 47 points. Nice play call there. Down the stretch, getting him the open look. Yeah, I put that one on the defense. I mean, they can't leave him open at this stage. Here's Ward. Here's McDice. It falls for his fifth field goal tonight. Now shooting five for eight. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. The Knicks with the lead. Here's Moore. To the wing right side. Sprewell, the pass to McDice. Shot clock at six. Here's Ward. A putback, and Thomas with the second chance points. Thomas got four points in the quarter. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Now here's Iverson. Here's Snow. To the middle, Thomas with the steal. Here's Sprewell. New York moving the ball around. Here's McDice. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. Timeout called the 76ers. Here's Iverson. Into the lane, and Iverson throws it down. He's a difference maker. Iverson with all the shots in his arsenal and ready to deliver. Here's Moore. Here's the pass to Springwood. It's hauled in by the 76ers. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. Now Iverson. And another one falls. Amazing. 
That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Check out Iverson getting tricky with the ball, using his handles to slip by the defender. Here's Ward. He's covered by Snow. Here's Houston. Carries it from three-point range. Houston's got 15 points here in the second half. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. And the 76ers call time here. They're trailing by five. We've got 148 left in the fourth quarter. Iverson outside. Over Houston. It's tipped. That one's in there. The next one was cut to just three points on the basket for McCullough. There's a minute 40 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Houston. Iverson covering. It's a shot at the elbow. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Houston's got 17 now, just in the second half. Here's Iverson. Tries again, and he lays it up and in. Well, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Here's Houston. Iverson cover. Houston can't get it to go. The 76ers trail by three. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Second oh, he just loves seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident. In the biggest moment of the game? Yes. Bowling set in for Philadelphia. <laughs> He knocks down the clutch free throw. He's basically automatic from the line. Not the guy you want to send there now. Here's Houston. Iverson covering. Houston, the best award. That shot off. And Philadelphia the other way now. Here's Van Horn. Down low, here's Coleman, over Thomas, it falls, and you can feel the crowd react as one. Guys, what a blast of energy that just sent through this entire building. New York calls timeout. They're trailing by two. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
Isley's check in for There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Houston. Iverson covered. And he drives in. And how about no hesitation? Alan Houston there just kept his cool and knocks down a huge shot. And Philadelphia calls time here. Iverson outside. Shot from 16. Ooh, off one. Yeah. New York calls timeout. the win. Oh, and a chance to win the game, but the last second shot is up one. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
And now we get set for overtime in what has been a stirring contest. Easily the pass to Sprewell. Passes to Houston. Out to the wing. Five on the clock. Thomas is screen on Iverson. There's the triple. Houston can't get it to go. And the 76ers with possession. Here's McKee. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. What a play there, the hoop plus the harm. Yeah, great concentration there. Hung in there. He didn't let that contact throw him off at all. Stayed focused on the rim, knew he was going to get hit, and still was able to finish. by three. Here's Isley to the middle. And he goes in for the dunk. Beautiful reverse jam right there. Use the rim to protect the ball, I think. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Here's Snow. It's to Iverson. Another bucket. Wow. And this game has his name written all over it. Greg, he's been phenomenal in offensive onslaught. Here's Sprewell, guarded by McKee. Pass to McDice. Over Van Horn. McDice can't hit. The 76ers leading by three. Here's Iverson, got a piece of it. That's another rebound. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. Here's Isley. Rebounded by McKee. The 76ers have gone two or three from the floor as we've gotten this overtime period underway. The pass to Iverson. Takes it in, and Iverson throws it down. You gotta love Iverson's tenacity, especially when he's driving. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. New York calls timeout.
76ers on defense. Isley the pass to McDyess. And the dunk by McDyess. No one will sit down as hard as McDyess. He, he lives for those dunks and he never passes up a chance to make a statement. Here's Snow. Passes it to Iverson. Again, what an avalanche! 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. New York calls timeout. It's overtime basketball, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Houston. And he drops it in from the low post. Houston's got four points now in the quarter. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's Snow. Stu Iverson. Six to shoot. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. He is so good with the ball in his hands when it matters. Iverson is not a guy defenses want to send to the line in late game situations. the first and that gives them a four point cushion and he hits both free throws here so now it's a five point game Wow, I tell you what, those free throws will give them some much-needed breathing room. Two-possession game now. Overtime basketball, a little under three and a half minutes into it. Houston, the pass to Thomas. And good that time. So that's a terrific set that they just ran. Philadelphia leading by three. Iverson right side. To snow. Iverson against Thomas. Goes up again. And Iverson with a nice bucket inside. Iverson's got the lead up to five now for the 76ers. 
here's Houston. He's covered by Snow. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And Houston, a, a pro at initiating the contact. An aggressive shooter who's looking for opportunities to get to the line. free throw is good and that shrinks the margin to just four a dynamic and confident score Houston as steady as it gets at the offensive end good on both fruitful trip to the line there he's made this a one possession game now the 76ers leading by three Here's Iverson, offensive rebound. For New York, they've gone four for seven on their shot attempts in the extra period up to this point. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. Here's Philadelphia. I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Here's Iverson, giving in excellent D from Thomas. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over to take the lead. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. The critical possession right here. Wow. It's a needle cap. So they foul intentionally. Two, no good. Heartbreaking. So he comes up empty, missing both. One second separate in the shot clock and game clock. Nick Dice with the ball. Houston, the pass to McDice. It's a nice passing by New York here. Pass to Eisler to take the lead. And they get it back. It's rebounded by Snow, and he commits the intentional foul. the first one and that would put them up by two and so both free throws are good yeah. it's a three-point game yeah, those free throws make things a little more simpler right now they just have to guard against the three-point new york calls timeout what do you think guys not enough time for a catch and shoot three so I think it's got to be an alley-oop that draws the and one potentially crazy scenario right here.
so it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came out of the end What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. And that about wraps it up. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Ong, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.